Be smarter than your smartphone. News, reviews, and the how-tos. Geekahead.com Hey guys, what's up? It's Sergio with Geekahead.com with a review. Today I have an accessory for your iPhone or any smartphone. Um, it's called Eye Stabilizer. And what Eye Stabilizer allows you to do is to attach this device onto any tripod mount and then it will um, hold your iPhone securely. Um, this is the packaging. It's really small. It's, it fits into this palm of my hand. Um, this is um, Eye Stabilizer. This is the back of it. Basically um, shows you the dimensions. Hope that's focused. Um, and it works with most phones. I have a couple of phones out here and I'm going to demo it out demo it out to you. So let's pop it up and see what we got. So when you open it up you have a card with um, a website where you can see mounting instructions. There's also a small pod, uh, pretty cool, uh, one two steps, how to set it up. It's that easy. All it needs is a little one two and it's in. So let's pull the piece out and I'm going to show you how it is. So it's a piece that attaches to your tripod using here and then the phone will go like this and this goes up and down depending how wide your phone is. This little piece here is used to pull that up and on the bottom here as you can see that's rubber so when your phone is against this and this and this it's all rubberized so your phone is not scratched. That's rubber right there and that is rubber here as well so nothing is scratched. Um, so let me get my tripod and I will show you how it goes on. So all you do is you just screw it on the bottom with your, to any tripod. Right? So there we have it. We have it secured on my little tripod, table tripod. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, the iPhone 4 first. All you do is you can pull it up if your tripod is heavy. If not, what I do is I put it down on the matted part here and then I pull up and then it goes in like this and it's holding my phone it's pretty secure and you can move around with it you, you can record a video if you want but you don't have to you can set it down and take a picture now what I really like about this is that it goes right in the middle of your phone some attach on the top on the bottom and sometimes it's in the way of either the buttons or the camera itself which is pretty weird but um, it, here all you do is you got a camera and you can see that it's mounted perfectly fine and the camera is accessible here if you put the phone that way camera will appear here um, let's try out some other phones and I'll show you how it looks so to take it out I pull it up and slide it out and there are no scratches on my phone or nothing like that. It's all rubberized and good for the phone. Um, here I have a slightly bigger phone. This is the Galaxy S2 um, Skyrocket. Same concept. I use the same entry method. Um, I uh, push up on this and it'll move it up and then it will go in like that. See? So my tripod is a little light here, so that's why I have to do it this way. Um, and I slide it out the same way. So what I do is I stick my phone here. It's rubber here, so there's no problem. And I'll just push up and pop it in. Um, and my phone is nice and secure. This is a nice camera here as well. Um, 8 megapixels. And you can see me recording with this pretty nicely. And I also like this for front cameras. It, hold, it holds it there. Um, I can be doing whatever I want to do with you guys. And this camera will still be recording me here. Um, you can put it on any tripod, anything you need, it's there for you. Um, my next phone is, um, it's not square like the iPhone, so you would think you're just standing there. That's why it's good because the iPhone is a little more square. This is the old school iPhone, first one out, 8 gigabyte. it's an antique if anybody wants to buy it. Holler at me, I don't know if I want to sell it though. But it's rounded, but you can still see that it will stay here with um, eye stabilizer, which is pretty cool. Um, it held, it holds it down pretty, it's pretty tight, it's a pretty good um, spring here that holds it down. That's um, the iPhone 2G. I also have a Desire here, um, it's actually the Infuse by AT&T, which is also pretty wide, and this goes that far. Okay? So there you go, the camera's not blocked, like I was explaining, and you could use both. 
So this um, smartphone mount device works with a lot of smartphones. It expands pretty high. Um, I'm not sure if the dimensions say it. Yeah, it, it does. So it expands up to 2.7 inches, which is 7 centimeters. So it can go pretty wide. Um, most phones, I haven't seen a phone yet to not be able to fit this. Yeah, that fits um, my whole palm. So that's a pretty big phone. Um, this is a review for eye stabilizer. Hope you guys enjoy this. I use this piece daily and it's in flawless condition. The spring keeps um, keeps retracting as it has since day one. So I'm going to have to deem this as a very good quality product. I believe this only ran me like $18 on Amazon. I'm going to supply a link in my description uh, with a way to purchase this one. I might have a giveaway in the future, so subscribe to my videos and uh, take a look um, at them. We'll, we'll definitely have a giveaway for one of these coming up soon. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any extra questions, if you want me to take any detailed pictures of this device, um, I would be happy to do that. And again, this is a review of iStabilizer from geekyhide.com.